What is going on guys, it is WrestleAmia here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumours you need to know, including 6 SummerSlam matches leaked, is Cody vs Roman already booked for WrestleMania 40, why did John Cena discuss WrestleMania coming to London, Triple H discusses LA Knight losing at Money in the Bank, WWE's plans for Drew McIntyre, Mandy Rose calls out WWE and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Now let's hit the intro and get straight into our first story. Now first story looks at 6 SummerSlam matches leaked. The top of today's news is a report from the Wrestling Observer's Dave Meltzer about the WWE's upcoming SummerSlam event on who the fans can expect to see wrestle at the biggest party of the summer. Meltzer announced the following six matches. Roman Reigns defending the Undisputed Universal Championship against Jey Uso, Cody Rhodes vs Brock Lesnar, Trish Stratus vs Becky Lynch, Asuka vs Charlotte Flair vs Bianca Belair for the WWE Women's Championship, Gunther vs Drew McIntyre for the IC Championship, and Ronda Rousey vs Shayna Baszler. Melter added that Logan Paul is expected to compete at SummerSlam 2, although it's unknown who will step in the ring against. Logan Paul is on the show. As of yesterday, he was not planned to face LA Knight, as the plan was to give in an opponent for a showcase in-ring match. Just coming off TV, I figured Knight made the most sense, and nothing official until it's announced. That still leaves openings for people like Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, and probably Edge, who returns on Friday night in MSG. A SummerSlam will be here before you know it, and it's booked for 5th August at Detroit's Ford Field. Next up is Cody vs Roman already booked for WrestleMania 40. More hints that WWE already has Rhodes vs Roman Reigns booked for the main event at WrestleMania 40. Cody spoke at the Money in the Bank post-show press conference about his story with Roman Reigns, leading to Dave Meltzer commenting on the Wrestling Observer Radio saying, his storyline is that the belt that his father didn't win, which is apparently Roman's belt, that's the one that's the story. So basically, he almost has said it's next year's WrestleMania, which is the plan right now. How will these rumoured plans mesh the plans for Jey Uso to reportedly wrestle Roman for the Undisputed Championship at SummerSlam? Next up, why did John Cena discuss WrestleMania coming to London? A John Cena's surprise appearance at Money in the Bank led to an even bigger surprise when Cena said he was there because he wants to bring WrestleMania to London. While WrestleMania is supposedly not coming to London anytime soon, Dave Meltzer believes that WWE had seen a talk up London Town as a strong candidate not only to get the fans psyched, but more importantly, to get city officials to fork over some pounds. Meltzer mused that while WWE would make a small fortune with a two-night show at Wembley, the real money comes from the host city ponying up the dough for the privilege of hosting the show. Unfortunately for WWE, London is Europe's top tourist destination and the city doesn't need to bring the WWE in to enhance its tourism industry. So they don't need to do this, but WWE doesn't want, let's just say the two gates together are 30 million and they'll get that and, and it may be it's not enough for WWE. You know, they want that and especially because they're, if they do it for no money, look at all these cities are going to get mad at having to pay big money. So the point is, is that London doesn't want to pay, yeah? They didn't want to pay for the pay-per-view last year, and that's why it went to Cardiff. Meltzer believes that Cena's appearance and announcement about WrestleMania in London could persuade its leaders to reassess the situation. Next up, Triple H discusses LA Knight losing at Money in the Bank. Why did WWE have arguably its hardest ring star lose the men's Money in the Bank ladder match? LA Knight fans were disappointed when the SmackDown superstar came up short, with Damian Priest walking away with the all-important briefcase. A WWE's chief content officer, Triple H, addressed the situation during the Money in the Bank post-press conference, saying, I know LA Knight was a massive favourite coming in tonight. Continuing that ascent, great things come to those who wait, right? And I think that the rise is just getting started. And there were several reasons why WWE didn't have LA Knight win the match, and the reasons why Damian Priest won instead. Be sure to check out our video on that. LA Knight fans will have to take Triple H's comments on faith and hope the promotion doesn't drop the ball with one of its most organic success stories. What do you think of WWE's decision to have Damian Priest win the briefcase? Next up, WWE's plans for Drew McIntyre. And now that Drew McIntyre has returned to WWE, what's next for the Scottish Warrior? PW Insider is reporting that Drew will be a regular on Raw, which will tie him with him pursuing Gunther's Intercontinental Championship. In case you missed Money in the Bank, McIntyre appeared after Gunther defeated Riddle, laying him out with a Claymore kick and posing with the IC title belt. Next up, Kenny Omega responds to Fight Forever complaints. 
AEW Fight Forever is finally here, but AEW's first console game is getting mixed reviews. Recently, AEW Executive Vice President Kenny Omega, who is heavily involved in the game's development, replied to a gamer's grumblings that the game needs a lot of work. As someone who's played a ton of fighting games in FPS, I've always encouraged fixes and rebalancing when situations like this turn up. There will be continued support for the game, so all of this feedback and suggestions are great. Thank you. Have you guys played Fight Forever? What do you guys think of it? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up is Vince McMahon helping or hurting WWE creative. Vince McMahon's role in WWE creative is a controversial subject with complaints about last minute changes and rewrites to programming. However, a recent report from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter states that it's not all bad. It's not the interference itself that's the problem, it's how and when he does it. Next up, Cody coming to SmackDown. Is Raw Superstar Cody Rhodes coming to SmackDown? Wrestling News is reporting that Cody's upcoming summer schedule suggests he could show up on a future edition of the Blue Brand. Rose released his July schedule with one of the dates being July 14th SmackDown event in Raleigh, North Carolina. It's likely you'll be working a dark match, but it's possible he appears on television. As fans have seen since the 2023 draft, the brand split is a matter of convenience as the WWE seems to have no qualms about having crossover appearances despite past comments that a hard brand split would be in effect. Next up is Grayson Waller cleared to compete. A Waller appeared at Money in the Bank and got an impromptu dust up with John Cena fueling speculation that not only is Waller ready to rumble but that he could face Cena at SummerSlam. While word has it that Cena won't be returning to the ring anytime soon, Fightful noted that Waller is set to be cleared soon. Next up, green card crisis for Chelsea Green. And Chelsea Green has quickly carved out a spot for herself on Raw as the WWE's resident Karen, but some border problems are reportedly keeping her off television. Green, who has been teaming up with Sonya Deville, was reportedly unable to attend last week's Raw due to visa difficulties. Five Full Select is reporting that Green has been grounded due to green card issues, and the site reports Green has been waiting on a green card for months, reportedly as far back as last September. In the meantime, she took advantage of being sidelined as she attended her husband Matt Cardona's film premiere. Cardona stars in the last match, a pro wrestling rock musical. Next up, Mandy Rose calls out WWE. A former NXT Women's Champion Mandy Rose's abrupt departure from WWE is still being talked about, including comments from the Golden Goddess herself. Rose, who was reportedly released due to having steamy content on her fan time subscription based service last year, recently addressed her dismissal. Rose spoke with the New York Post saying, I wasn't told about racy images, Rose said, referring to the reasons she was given for being let go. I wasn't told about anything. I was told about the subscription-based platform. What's the definition of racy? The photo of me with two titles? I was completely naked underneath? That's considered a racy photo, right? The WWE didn't go into details on the exact reason for her release. However, Meltzer shared his thoughts after Rose's release. She had the subscription service and it got popular and lucrative. She went further and further and the feeling was that she was way, way, way across the line. Regardless, Rose seems to have a keen understanding of the wrestling industry based on these comments. I am grateful and very humble with everything. I've done a media at the company, but in today's day and age, there are so many other avenues and so many other marketing opportunities. It's like, why can't I do both? The case can be made that Rose left the door open for a WWE return with her kind words for the promotion, but she also stood her ground regarding her ability to monetize off her image. At the end of the day, I'm the only one watching out for myself and my career. Everyone's replaceable in our business, it's true. And finally, EO Sky comes in second after Money in the Bank. And last but not least, congrats to EO Sky for winning the 2023 Women's Money in the Bank match and for entering the record books following her win. Not only did the damage control member capture the briefcase, but EO Sky, just by having the contract for a day, has become the second longest women's money in the bank holder of all time. Sky may have come in second in this case, but a record is a reminder of how many women's briefcase winners wasted no time cashing in their contracts. Every woman who has won the prestigious briefcase has successfully cashed it in. Will she continue the tradition though? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.